maybe a good place to start would be the work you did taking mid journey assets, bringing it into, into F spy and then blender and then bringing it into unity. Maybe, maybe talk through for people like what you could do if you're watching this and you want to try out some of the stuff that you've been demonstrating online, what should people learn? Projection mapping is the name of the technique. So it's a, it's an ages old technique. It dates back to like the, I think it, I think it might even be one of the first things that you could actually do that if you want to do VFX for film, I don't know, maybe like projection mapping has been out. It's been here forever. And it's basically what you do is you take your image and you imagine like if you had a video projector placed exactly where the camera is and it would project a photograph on a surface. And then you had another camera that you could move around and it would feel that there's actual depth to it. Of course, of course, there is actual depth to it, but you kind of get for free all the lighting and all the little details in there. I've been doing projection mapping for forever. I think I started to do the technique in 2005 on some animation stuff. We did the background for the animation with projection mapping where an artist would paint a background and then I would model it and then we could add some camera movement in it. So it would feel 3D, but it was actually just a 2D painting. Once I got the, the AI tools and I wanted to use it for games, I didn't necessarily need the, the projection mapping first. But I, I figured it would be easier to place the game content in the 2D image if it was in three-dimensional space. Once you get the image out of uh, Midjourney or any other, any other tool, it could be a photo, it could be a drawing, it doesn't need to be AI. It can be, it can be a watercolor painting or oil painting or, or whatever you want it to be. All the techniques are the same after this point. So then FSPY is a tool that will... It will figure out the vanishing points in the image, like the perspective of it. With a couple of uh, guide to guidelines, it will give you the, the camera position and the focal length and the, and the FOV of the image so that you can start placing uh, 3D meshes on it. And FSPY very nicely integrates into Blender. So if you go into Blender then and you open up the file, you will have the camera set up and you will have the image as a background in your, in your viewport. And then you can just start placing uh, boxes and squares and flats and or whatever things in the scene and you just start fleshing it out. I found a couple of tutorials online uh, on this topic, how you can do projection mapping and actually on 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 a mid-journey image. Mm, I think they were started they started mm. popping up like a couple of weeks ago, which they kind of outline my workflow exactly. Mm-hmm. Which was really nice, so I could then just share those instead of having to do <laughs> do a full on tutorial myself. I could just point people to like, hey, this is this is a video online. It, she does exactly the same thing that I do, and she explained it explains it way better. So, those are really nice places to go if you're looking for the pipeline. It's it's very simple. The pipeline is very simple. You have a two D image, and then you figure out the vanishing point in the image. So you, that you can start placing ge geometry into the image and then project the image on the geometry. And if you don't move your camera at all, you can get away with very simple geometry. 